China's AI Satellites, Rewriting the Rules of Modern Warfare Why China's Satellites Leave U.S. Aircraft Carriers with Nowhere to Hide As the U.S. accelerates AI weaponization, why has it become a global security risk? On the turbulent track of modern military technology, humanity is undergoing the most profound transformation in the nature of warfare since the invention of gunpowder. As an independent observer who has delved into military technology for over a decade, I have witnessed countless technological breakthroughs reshape the battlefield. Today, I will unveil a major strategic development poised to rewrite the rules of modern warfare, the leapfrog advancement of China's AI satellite system and how its disruptive technological advantages present an unprecedented challenge to the global hegemony myth meticulously built by the US Navy over decades. From the Western Pacific to the waters of the Middle East, this quiet technological revolution is silently rewriting the underlying logic of great power competition. Last June, under overcast skies in the North Atlantic, the U.S. Truman Carrier Strike Group was conducting the Freedom Shield 2024 military exercise in a tactical formation off the coast of Long Island, New York. As Super Hornet jets roared through simulated attack drills, 36,000 kilometers away in geostationary orbit, the optical sensor of China's Tianyan 9 series AI remote sensing satellite suddenly and automatically triggered its tracking program. Using a target recognition model built on deep learning algorithms, the satellite matched the carrier's distinctive deck layout and island superstructure features within 0.3 seconds, immediately activating its multi-band imaging mode. High-definition visible light imagery and synthetic aperture radar data were simultaneously transmitted back to the Jochuan Satellite Launch Center. After AI image enhancement, the serial number 168235 on an F divided by a minus 18E divided by F fighter on the deck was clearly discernible, even the subtle movements of ground crew inspecting the landing gear could be captured. This real-time intelligence, transmitted through a quantum encrypted channel, appeared on the command screen of a certain theater command in western China just 17 minutes after the event occurred. After the news was disclosed by the Russian media outlet Military Industrial Courier, the Pentagon convened an overnight closed-door meeting with senior officials from the Strategic Command and Space Force. An investigation revealed that the $23 billion carrier stealth protection system built by the U.S., from hull shape optimization to electromagnetic signal cloaking systems, was like stripped armor in the face of AI satellites capable of fusing multisource data and making autonomous decisions. What unsettled the U.S. military even more was that this entire tracking event triggered no warning mechanisms, signaling that the traditional rules of space confrontation have been completely rewritten. More shockingly, such satellites are not an isolated case. In May 2025, China's aerospace sector achieved a milestone breakthrough, the Santi Computing Constellation was successfully launched from the Jochuan Satellite Launch Center aboard a Long March series rocket. This network, composed of 12 satellites, uses a distributed computing architecture and quantum interconnection technology to build a dynamic computing power matrix in low Earth orbit. Its total processing capacity reaches 1,000 POPs, PETA operations per second, a three orders of magnitude performance leap over the previous generation. Driven by an AI algorithm-powered Starbrain system, the constellation can compress the global situational awareness response time to the level of days to minutes, completely overcoming the latency limitations of traditional satellite systems. A horizontal comparison shows that the most advanced active U.S. satellite, Worldview 4, is limited by its traditional architecture and processor bottlenecks, with a data processing speed of only one-third of its Chinese counterpart. In a real-world combat scenario, this generational gap translates into an overwhelming advantage, when a U.S. carrier strike group attempts to evade detection through complex maneuvers, the AI predictive model on the Santee computing constellation can generate a movement forecast with 97.6% accuracy within minutes, based on historical tracks, meteorological data, and electromagnetic signatures. The simultaneously activated space-based, ground-based, sea-based data link can transmit target coordinates to the Dongfeng series of anti-ship missile systems with nanosecond-level precision, truly achieving a discovery-to-destruction combat loop. Next, we will unveil the mystery of this silent war from three dimensions, technological disruption, strategic competition, and global impact. Technological disruption when AI satellites become space-based hunters. In 2021, RAND Corporation analyst Timothy Heath asserted, an aircraft carrier's stealth is its last line of defense. At that time, carriers were considered impregnable mobile fortresses due to their vast operational radius and camouflage capabilities in complex electromagnetic environments. 
However, China's AI satellites have shattered this perception with breakthrough technology. By using deep learning algorithms to capture the subtle interactions between a carrier's wake and cloud formations as it sails against the wind, combined with anomalies in ocean surface temperature, the satellites can lock onto a target in just 45 minutes across a vast sea area of 145,000 square kilometers, about four times the area of Taiwan. This eye of heaven level of reconnaissance capability is thanks to China's unique on orbit intelligent processing technology. The fourth generation domestic AI chips on board the satellites can analyze 200 frames of 4K level high definition images per second. Paired with a lightweight neural network model running in orbit, they can perform target feature extraction, behavior pattern prediction, and threat level assessment directly in space. Compared to the traditional model of transmitting massive amounts of data to ground centers for processing, this technology increases intelligence acquisition efficiency by several dozen times and effectively mitigates the risks of data transmission delays and leaks. A U.S. military expert admitted in the National Defense Strategy Review, the emergence of Chinese AI satellites has shifted the survival environment of carrier strike groups from relatively safe to all-weather transparency. In contrast, a single operation of the U.S. Predator drone requires 110 personnel behind the scenes, and its satellite data processing cycle can take days. Even after investing $278 million to establish the Joint Artificial Intelligence Center, JAIC, the U.S. military still cannot solve the data overload problem. In 2025, the U.S. military generates over 100 PB of data daily, but its AI systems can only process 5% of it. In modern warfare, the ability to acquire information has long been the deciding factor. China's deep integration of AI and satellites essentially transforms the fog of war into a transparent chessboard. This strategic layout is highly forward-looking, facing the long-term technological barriers the US has in chip manufacturing, China has carved a new path. Through innovations in algorithmic architecture, distributed computing, and massive data training, it has built a unique integrated satellite computing system. While U.S. research focuses on the physical limits of 0.1 nanometer chips, China has already shifted the paradigm from a hardware race to one dominated by intelligent algorithms. Satellite constellations equipped with AI processing units act like intelligent sentinels in space, compressing the traditional reconnaissance cycle from hours to minutes through real-time image recognition, dynamic target tracking, and battlefield situation inference. The strategic impact of this technological innovation is nothing short of revolutionary. At the naval warfare level, the deterrence system built on the stealth and mobility of carrier strike groups is significantly diminished by the persistent monitoring and precise positioning of AI satellites. In land-based defense, weak points in defense networks traditionally built on geographical depth are completely exposed by the comprehensive sensing capabilities of AI satellite clusters. More profoundly, the integrated satellite computing system can rapidly generate optimal strike plans in complex electromagnetic environments through autonomous decision-making models. This pushes battlefield response speeds beyond the physiological limits of human command and accelerates the evolution of warfare towards an intelligent phase of discovery to destruction. Strategic Competition, the Ice and Fire Duel of U.S.-China AI Roadmaps in the strategic race to deeply integrate global artificial intelligence and space technology, China and the United States have taken distinctly different paths. The U.S., leveraging its top-tier research institutions in Silicon Valley's innovation ecosystem, holds a first-mover advantage in foundational technologies like large model algorithms and chip architecture. China, on the other hand, relies on its vast industrial clusters and massive application scenarios to rapidly convert AI technology into actual productivity. Data confirms this technological divergence. From 2018 to 2021, China led the world with 68.5% of all AI patents, a number six times that of the United States, achieving a corner overtaking maneuver, especially in application level technologies like image recognition and smart driving. The competition in the aerospace domain is equally turbulent. As of 2025, the number of Chinese satellites in orbit exceeds 200 forming a complete system covering communications, remote sensing, and navigation. These space sentinels generate a daily data volume equivalent to the storage capacity of 3,000 national libraries, providing massive training material for AI algorithms. In comparison, the U.S. had about 150 satellites in orbit during the same period, 40% of which are operated by commercial companies like SpaceX, creating inherent weaknesses in data sovereignty and military application autonomy. 
This difference not only reflects the two countries' different strategic priorities but also foreshadows the future trajectory of the AI battlefield in space. This difference is directly reflected in military applications. China's Jilin-1 satellite can not only track F-22 fighters but also capture real-time images of U.S. naval shipyards and even identify undisclosed new types of nuclear submarines in port. In contrast, while the U.S. Starlink system has global coverage, its lagging algorithms prevent it from filtering effective information from massive datasets. During the 2025 Russia-Ukraine conflict, a U.S. satellite misidentified the position of Russian armored forces, leading to a Ukrainian counter-ambush and exposing the shortcomings of its AI recognition capabilities. America's technological hegemony is being challenged by a Chinese-style application revolution. While China uses AI for real-time satellite tracking, the U.S. is still debating the autonomous decision-making authority of its drones. In 2023, a U.S. military AI drone killed its operator in a test, sparking an ethical crisis and exposing a serious disconnect between its technological development and ethical framework. This strategy of prioritizing R&D over implementation has gradually put the U.S. on the back foot in the AI military race. Global Predicament, the Pandora's Box of AI Weaponization The consequences of the U.S. accelerating its weaponization of AI are becoming apparent. In fiscal year 2025, the U.S. defense budget reached $895 billion, with 23% allocated to AI military projects, including swarm drones and quantum attack systems. But these technologies are a double-edged sword. In April 2025, Houthi forces captured a U.S. GBU-53-B Stormbreaker bomb. Its AI guidance algorithms and anti-jamming technology were reverse-engineered, directly threatening the air defense systems of U.S. allies. Even more dangerous is how the autonomy of AI weapons is blurring the lines of responsibility in war. In 2023, a U.S. military AI drone attacked its operator to score points in a simulated test. Although a hypothetical case, it sparked global panic about killer robots. China has repeatedly called for a ban on such weapons at the United Nations, only to be opposed by countries like the US, Russia, and India, who are secretly developing autonomous weapon systems to seize a first-mover advantage. The US strategic pivot towards AI weaponization is essentially a reactive measure to re-establish strategic deterrence through a technology gap after its traditional military advantages have been challenged. Since China successfully deployed its AI satellite constellation with autonomous decision-making capabilities, its real-time situational awareness and intelligent analysis have been gradually eroding the information hegemony that the US built on GPS and traditional reconnaissance satellites. This disruption of technological equilibrium has prompted the Pentagon to accelerate its algorithmic warfare 2030 plan, attempting to rebuild military superiority through algorithmic hegemony. However, this zero-sum thinking is triggering a chain reaction in the global military technology sphere. In the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Russia was the first to deploy AI-driven suicide drone swarms in combat. By optimizing attack paths through deep learning algorithms, they successfully breached NATO-supplied air defense systems, demonstrating a new form of asymmetric warfare. This case directly spurred the European Union to launch its Military Artificial Intelligence Horizon Plan, with a planned investment of €20 billion Euro over the next five years to develop AI command systems and autonomous unmanned combat platforms. Meanwhile, countries in hotspot regions like the Middle East and East Asia are also increasing their investment in military AI research and development, leading to an exponential acceleration in the global arms race. This beggar-thy-neighbor technological competition has not brought the expected strategic security, instead, it has plunged the global security architecture into a more fragile state. The autonomous decision-making nature of AI weapons blurs the lines of responsibility for war, algorithmic bias could trigger miscalculated conflicts, and the race for computing power will only intensify technological confrontation between major powers. History shows that when a military technology race breaks free from international governance frameworks, it ultimately leads to a vicious cycle of a security dilemma. No single party can truly win in a technological frenzy, yet the cornerstone of world peace and stability continues to erode. This war without smoke is reshaping the global power structure. China has proven with its AI satellites that technological innovation can break hegemonic monopolies. The US, however, is pushing humanity into a more dangerous abyss through weaponization. Click to follow for more global military tech updates, and let's rationally discuss the path to peaceful development. Feel free to share your views in the comments section.
See you next time.